everybody, how Hello. you doing? My name is Ibrahim Perez. And my name is Maria Kupari. And here in Ballet Popular, we're helping you build your passion and influence through dance. So guys, if you're new here, make sure you like this page, share with your friends, and maybe leave us a comment. Yeah, make sure you keep following so you can stay tuned with the updates. Anyway, so... What Let is... us know if you're watching, and today's topic is... What's the topic of today? He doesn't even know. Dance obsession. Dance obsession, yes. So people. So are you obsessed? If you think you're obsessed, leave us a comment below and let us know why you think you're obsessed with ballet or dance. Yes. What is it that you do every day that makes you feel like you're obsessed with it? Well, a lot of things that people don't know, but when you start training in ballet, you know, you get this crazy mentality that you need to be so perfect, so good, so great. And then you start like really building this obsession with improving your technique, with the way you eat, with the way your friends look at you. So it's all kind of psychological, you know, because when you are in ballet school, my people, 99% of, of the time you don't have a childhood. You don't. I approve this message. Anyway, so can you share with the viewers a little bit of your experience when you went to school? And you didn't have a childhood? Well, I basically was going to school, regular school in the morning, and I was going afternoon classes uh, for dancing and different other things, activities. So I feel like I never really got to enjoy childhood as a child. I was always see, either in a studio, dancing, or rehearsing for something. But. Hello, Lito, how are you doing? The number one fan. Number we one appreciate fan. you. I hope you're doing great. So, but it's in one sense, it's better to have a certain goal and be disciplined because that being obsessed with something, especially as, at a young age, teenagers, if they have something to focus on, they don't. They're, it's it's better for them because they're not gonna go out to look for other uh, things that might mess up with their life. They might not get involved with. Also, the problem no is when, when you are in school, it's like uh, the environment itself forces you to do that. So if you're a student, if you're a dancer, if, I mean, if you dance and if you don't know, you'll have a good understanding of this. So when, in one moment, sorry, obsession with dance becomes a problem. Mm. So when maybe you have no social life at all, like you every, everything consumes your time. You say like, well, oh, can we go out? Say, no, I have to wake up at six. I'm going to go see a movie. No, have rehearsal. I mean, everybody. Well, it happens right? to everybody. Happens, I mean, I didn't experience that because I started at a uh, late age. Late I started age. dancing when I was 15 years old. But you know, it's exactly what she's talking about. You are so intense with the scheduling, with rehearsals, with the stuff that you don't see, you don't have time for anything. But I'm trying to say, when it has become a problem, well, it becomes a problem when you don't even have like social interact with other people that, oh, you want to come, maybe go grab something to eat. No, 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 I have to go because I got to go back to the studio. Or no, 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 because, you know, I... I, I can't eat because I have to I can, go to I, rehearsal. Exactly. So the okay. thing is also that that's part of the bigger picture. The other topics that we talked last week and the week before, the depression, the bulimia, all of that. It's all related. Why? Because it becomes an obsession. obsession. So she keep like, like, come on, people. She keep like correcting me in that. I know it's difficult to say obsession. There you go. Anyway, so yes, uh, when it's obsession good, that's another side. So when you actually put in the work, people. When you're trying to perfect your technique if and you are, your craft. Yes, if you're just crazy about ballet because you love it so much and you go to school and you want to keep up with your friends. And you just want to watch all the dance movies and watch all the dance news. With yes, promoter, that's, not, that's, that's not like really what's going on. It's not really good, good. Like, But if you take this obsession, but I wouldn't call it obsession, I call it like passion. Yeah. And you put it every day to like... Do the work, you know? Stop watching that your friend or see what she's doing or how great is she. Like, stop watching people. Stop watching yourself. See what is wrong with you so you can fix it. That's the problem, the big issue that when we are dancers, we just focus about what other people have to say about us. And on top of that, we are too concerned about other people's business. So stop checking out Susie because that don't mean nothing. You know, you got to check you. So are you turning your feet out? Are you pointing? Are you doing fifth correctly? Are you doing the periods? Are you doing the toe de shot? Are you doing the pas de shot? Are you doing the variation? Are you turning out? All of that be... Yes. Mm -hmm. So... But there's also the funny side of, of just the fact that you're a dancer. It's 
It's funny sometimes in your everyday life going to the supermarket, uh, yeah. dancing this, in the aisles, doing well, a real event. One second, things. this message is for those people that left message in the last video that I put myself about the fallings in ballet. So, stop being so serious, people. Laugh once in a while. You know, it's not bad. It's not gonna kill you to laugh. Yeah, when, sometimes when people get too obsessed with ballet, they become like so serious about everything that nothing can yeah. be funny. For some like, of you like, guys, for some oh of God, you, this is so offensive. This for some of you that you don't know, probably you know, we posted a video uh, yesterday. It's called Ballet Fails, but it's just a quick, like, quick video of like few things that I mean, happen on like stage. It, you know. A lot of people like it, but some people don't because you know, at the end of the day, they are too serious. Too serious about everything, man. Like, it's life. Things happen. And if you dance professionally, that probably happened to you. And if you didn't, that's what you're criticizing. So, come on. Everybody fell down. How yeah, you, you know, down? like, and by the way, nobody in that video got hurt. So, for those of you that told us someone like get hurt, come on, relax. Even the biggest company in the whole planet, sometimes things were wrong. Even the biggest stars, you've, there's videos around, you see they're falling, but... So, I am not really going to... Hey, hey Mr. Yanis, I hope oh. you're doing okay. Big hello from New York City. So guys, if you're here, you know, please make sure that you let us know what you think. And on top of that, if you're a dancer, let me ask you this. Are you obsessed with ballet in a good way or in a bad way? And if it's like that, please leave me a comment because I would love to get back to you. Yes, let us know what, it, what you do. Anyway, yes, people. So what are the funny things you think that people are doing when they're obsessed with ballet? Oh, well, I mean, they go to the supermarket, everything that they grab, they like, taking a pose, you know, here and there. If they're walking, they turn out their feet. If they're like, something falls down, they go in the miblie. I mean, you can see it. Punchet. I mean, once you dance and you got this understanding, you can see how people is like, that's a dancer right there. And that one is obsessed with ballet because man, even the way she hold the pairs. <laughs> so, I mean, it's okay. I mean, dance is beautiful. And I believe that dance is like a second language. I mean, it's our first language. We spare like, we, we the, Sorry, this is live streaming, so things happen. But you know, we learn first to like speak with our bodies before like words. Meaning like, you know, we just like communicate. I have a headache, oh my tummy hurts. The baby, I mean, how a baby communicate? Like that. Like that. <laughs> so, you know guys, seriously, um, ballet can become an obsession, but it could be a beautiful obsession. Even though like Hollywood stars like their ballet thing, you know, even they're picking up in movies, even everyone like, in fashion, everybody fashion, gets inspired yes. by that ballerina. Like uh, nowadays, yeah. you see like magazines with covers of, uh, yeah, I mean, of ballerinas, uh, no, ballet, no ballerinas, no ballerinas, no ballerinas, yeah, that models, dancers. models trying to go on point, and, and other people doing to do these campaigns. You also have dancers doing them, but most likely they were big, they're pretty models, very skinny. So it's like ballet has a big influence nowadays in all time, but you know. Yeah. You as a dancer, as a dance lover, when does it become a lot? Like, come on, really? You feel I like mean, it's overwhelming you? Like, first of all, yes. your life? You know, when somebody's success about ballet, they will talk only about ballet. About ballet, 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 ballet. Oh yeah, because this dancer, oh because of that. Come on people, watch the news, you know, like it's a lot of things going on. The planet is going crazy, but at the same right. time, you know, love you, love what you do. Put your passion in what you do, but you know, like, be aware that ballet is not the only thing in the planet. Like, it's way more important things right now happening than just going on point or in ballet shoes. And it's so true, so I just want to bring a word to everybody. Guys, don't stress too much about ballet. Just do it, have fun with it, but you know, be aware of other things happening. And anyway, we have to keep moving forward no matter what happened. Some things are out of control. They anyway. are off so yes, her. guys, please stop taking this too serious. Just go home. I mean, go to the studio, have fun, and dance, people. You know, and stop thinking what other people is thinking about you because that's not gonna take you nowhere. Yeah, it's not gonna change who you are. So exactly, right? uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. So guys, is there anything else to say? Yeah, okay. Yeah, she wanna say her. she wanna yeah. say something else. No, anyway, we kind of good. yeah, we kind of go. We just wanna talk a little bit about the obsession. So. For those kids that are dancing, you know, going to the ballet schools, just make sure you interact socially with, you know, friends, other people behind, behind, besides, besides the people in your studio. Because at the end of the day, my people, you guys I need, mean, to, need to understand, hold on, need to understand that it's, it is life besides ballet. What are you going to do if you can dance anymore? That's the question. Yeah, what are you going to yeah. do? 
I mean, because normally you're 24 seven in high school. Most of the times the guys finish high school and they don't go to college because they want to pursue their careers in dance and all of that. And then when all the beautiful thing about dance collapses, finishes and collapses, yeah, yeah. you gotta go cry to your mama. Cause you didn't go to school, you didn't graduate and you don't have nothing, you don't know anything else to do than ballet. That's true, so yeah, keep uh, getting interest in other, maybe other dance related topics, not just the dance itself. I mean, dance right? is beautiful. We, we can talk all day long about this, but man, guys, you gotta chill. Seriously, you know, learn your thing, practice. If you wanna be good, man, practice. Find a little gap, I don't know, hallway, in the little studio in the corner, in your house. Practice, but put the obsession in a good way. I put my obsession on my shirt. Did you see my shirt? I put in ballerina. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> this is not a pay advertising, so don't worry. This is a shirt that she bought no, years, just a shirt. My years mom ago. Got it for me. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I just want to like, give you, you know, all the props. Please focus on yourself, guys. You know, like, dance for you. And that's the whole idea of this little channel, like... We don't belong to no company. Our company is called Ballet Popular. We put it together. Like we spoke in our intro video in YouTube. We, we go to the cities and poor kids and give them ballet, you know, for free. We don't, we don't charge. I mean, sometimes they offer some like, like lunch right. or things like that. Eventually, you know, <laughs> they will, but you know, they, they appreciate it. They yeah. don't pay us not because they can't, they, they don't want. It's just like, they, sometimes they cannot they pay can us. They can and we offer that, yeah. So, you know, it's just a beautiful thing that we do ourselves. And, you, you know, do you. If, you. if you are dancing and you know, like, I mean, first of all, guys, if you don't have a job dancing, what is stopping you in dancing? Just buy a camera, bro, and do your dancing and put it YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. You have tons of platforms. And let others see, you know, share with other people, your friends, your family. That's your, that's your people, that's your group, you know. You don't need to impress, impress nobody. Get to your family, they will love it, you know, they will appreciate it. And don't waste your years, honestly, waiting for the big shot, because that might never happen. And it don't matter how good you are, like seriously. Yeah, you're right, just... I audition, I audition for many companies, big companies, small companies. I have the love to dance in couple, but you know, like that never really stopped me until I saw the real deal. Like I understood that. You see the behind the scenes, but yes, you know, it's like yeah, I'm in this company. I am dancing, but I don't like how this work because even when you're in a company, you get to do these beautiful ballets and everything. But after that, what is out there? What else? To dance, whatever you needed to dance, what else? And then you start like, on, like you know messing up with your own mind like is it is this what i really want maria has her own experience maria was like a contemporary dancer like and you know trying to pursue yeah, contemporary ballet she this woman got crazy tensions and she has beautiful lines and all of that and you know so what are you gonna do with it you go there you put the work people like it they hire you for two months three months and then they let you go and then your life is gonna stop for that hell no we team up and then we go do our own thing. So what I just want to tell you with all this, obsess. It's good to obsess. Let me tell you something. Obsessed. It's okay. Go crazy about your dancing and push because that's the only thing you got. You know? And if you don't do it for yourself, I mean, who are you going to do it for? Some fool that is going to just criticize you because your food is turned out or turning. You know what? Nobody cares. And by the way, thank you for taking the time to watch this, to watch this video, even if it's uh, a replay. Because most of the time we get a lot of views in replays because maybe people is working. I just want to thank you for taking 2 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your time to listen to what we have to say. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Anything else to say, Miss Ballerina? No, we, are, we hope we will spark some thoughts for you. Maybe push you to continue pursuing what you want or maybe change what you're pursuing. Yeah, I mean, you don't have right? to change what you're pursuing. No, like but a, maybe, adjust to it. Maybe adjust, evolve, you know, guys. Yes, yeah. Don't be just stuck in that ballerina mindset. It's other things out there, you know. You'll be surprised how many contemporary companies are doing amazing things. And you're just thinking about the tippy toe swan lake. Come on. <laughs> anyway, no, okay. I, love, I love ballet. Ballet makes me who I am. But at the same time, you know, we want to do more. Yeah, like, there's more to it. There's uh, more possibilities. More. Yeah, um, it's more choices. It's, it's, it's new era, new times. New things are happening. New things that we can speak about through dance. I hate, I know we're talking too much, but I hate choreographers that keep doing the same thing. War might happen. We're talking about war. And you're still doing ballets about Swan Lake, man. You're still doing like tippy toes things. I don't know, make a ballet about Syria. 
Make a ballet about conflicts that are happening are supposed to reflect our reality. And the reality that we're living in right now is not swans. Nope. Okay? It's refugees, it's immigrants, it's hatred, it's racism, it's a lot of things. And I don't see nobody doing this. Maybe we'll do it. So stay tuned, guys. We will. Anyway, yeah. so guys, here in Ballet Popular, helping, helping you build, build your passion and influence through, through dance. dance. So guys, keep it up, keep dancing, and this was a quick live stream for you. So obsession is great, but in a good way when you're pushing yourself. So be well. Keep pushing, and we'll see you very she, soon. She, she likes saying that. Keep pushing, and yeah, okay. <laughs> and we'll see you very soon. So seriously, we out. We gotta go to class. We gotta do our thing. So much love, and we'll see you next week in Ballet Popular.